We saw with the three-phase motor that the three phases being out of phase by 120 degrees produces a rotating magnetic field. With single phase power, there is no second or third phase that is shifted out to produce this rotation. As the current alternates, all that happens is that the polarity of the stator field flips. There is no rotation for the rotor to follow. Just adding an extra pair of windings at 90 degrees does not help because the current to these windings and hence the polarity of the magnetic field created is still in phase with the first pair of windings and the polarity of the stator just keeps flipping back and forth. If we give the rotor an initial push, it will rotate because of the extra external force we applied. This extra force and the flipping stator field polarity would be enough to keep it rotating. But who wants to have to rotate the rotor by hand every time to get the motor started? This is the single phase problem.